Hi everyone, welcome to my unboxing and first impressions of the new Microsoft Surface Headphones 2 Plus. This will be a quick video demonstrating its features, call quality, comfort and value. I will also compare it to other high-end headphones. As you can see, this is a business oriented model, so the packaging is quite plain. In the carrying case, we have the uh, headset, um, a USB C to USB A cable and a three and a half millimeter um, jack cable and uh, the USB A dongle. The ear cups are quite large and it will wrap around your ears, uh, sealing them completely. Uh, the cushions have a memory foam and uh, it's covered in um, material like leather. The headset can be uh, extended on both sides and uh, these stickers are just to hold the dials in place. You can control, control the volume on the right ear dial and uh, the noise cancellation uh, in, uh, strength on the left side dial. It moves quite smoothly back and forth. Has a quite nice feel. Well, yeah, feels very nice. And uh, now we have the um, power button. And then there is also the a quick press to turn it on and off. And then we have the Teams button, Microsoft Teams in this case, uh, which so far only works to bring focus to the Teams app. Oh, and when I was saying that we're going to compare to other models, well, we have a Odez Penrose, we have a Jabra Evolve 285, we also have a Jabra Engage uh, 65. And, oh, and to finalize, indeed, we have the Microsoft Headphones 2 Plus. Comparing this refresh model to the older Surface uh, Headphones 2, the main difference is the Microsoft Teams certification and the inclusion of a proprietary USB-A dongle. Uh, it's Bluetooth. Um, inf unfortunately, it's USB-A. And then look at the comparison to a USB-C dongle. Way different. Anyway, 2021, time to move to USB-C. Anyway, um, I can only guess that the reason chosen to use a USB-C, uh, sorry, USB-A instead of USB-C is because of the size of the antenna that you could pack in here. Uh, this increases the range where you can hear audio uh, on the headset, but it doesn't help much when you're talking back. So the device is not as strong to send the signal back, but this is strong enough to send the signal to the headphone. So you can actually go quite far where with other devices that I've tried using Bluetooth, it, can, it can't go anywhere near. Um, I've been using these uh, headphones for, I think nearly two weeks now, around eight hours a day. And between lots of phone calls, video meetings, listening to music, I'm with it all day long. I can definitely say that the comfort is a major selling point here and it doesn't annoy my ears uh, or my head. It doesn't hurt even though when I'm wearing it pretty much like all day long. It just feels right. Uh, because it has leather, uh, my ears can sometimes feel a bit sweaty in hot weather. Um, the same way as other headphones that will use similar material. There is not really much difference here. If your room temperature is on the higher end of the scale, I would say in between 20, like 24 degrees Celsius or uh, that's 70, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you may start feeling your ears a bit sweaty, which again, it will happen with any other headphones that cover your whole ears like this. There is no way around it. When it comes down to latency, uh, I've done some tests using a video on YouTube that you can track when the image is passing right by the time 
that you hear the, the, the sound Com and compared to a gaming headset, which is the Aldez Penrose, which has visible no delay. And I found the delay uh, with this model to be in between 70 to 100 milliseconds. It's not bad, but you can notice a bit of lim lim uh, lip sync in the video calls and even like while watching regular videos on, on YouTube. My uh, Jabra Evolve 285, which is also Bluetooth, has uh, has similar delay. And it is a drawback with Bluetooth technology. Uh, there is no way around it. Uh, my Aldez Penrose gaming headphone, the comparison, doesn't have any visible delay, but uses a proprietary wireless technology. So as soon as I walk out of my office, it pretty much cuts off. The Jabra, I can go sort of like, I don't know, 10 meters away. The Microsoft headphone supplies in comparison, I can go really far, but still Bluetooth has delay, no way around it. So what about the audio playback quality? Uh, I think it's pretty good, but maybe not as good as my old as Penrose. It has, because that thing is one of the best headsets you can get for music playback. And I would say quite close to the uh, Jabra Evolve 285. Um, I'm not an audiophile, like, so it's difficult for me to say if it actually is that much better, because they're very close. But bear in mind, this is targeted as uh, to business customers, like to someone that work, not just for, you know, playing games or listening to music. Uh, that's the reason it is a Microsoft certified device and you pay a bit more for that privilege. Think about it as, uh, as a work device that can also play good music. It has very good soundproofing. So once I put it back on, just the passive noise noise in isolation is, is pretty good. Could be a bit better. Yes, it leaves some gaps, I think, uh, at the bottom. I've tried to adjust a bit better, but it still, it lacks a bit of seal here at the bottom. Could be because of the shape of my face as well. So maybe if you have an even more rounded face than mine, which might be a bit difficult, I'm already pretty rounded, you might have a bit better. If we compare to the um, to the Evolve 285, you can see here the ear caps. And the ear cap of the Evolve 285 is a lot longer. And uh, when I put it on, yeah, the seal at the bottom is a bit, is it's much, much better. So passive noise cancellation on this is definitely better, but it's also a lot bulkier. And we're gonna talk about price differences later. Battery life on this headset is pretty good. Um, I, I'm a heavy, heavy duty user. So I'm in phone calls all day long. When I'm not in calls, I'm listening to music all the time, at least eight hours a day. So I would say this are being used eight to 10 hours a day. It lasts me normally like nearly two days. So I would say in between 15 to 18 hours of use. Um, pretty good battery life compared to other wireless headsets I have used. And uh, the charging is pretty quick as well. USB-C, again, you get a two amps charger, from your phone, any charger will do the job just fine. Two hours, you're ready to go another two days. So I would say for the normal person, this might last you two and a half days, maybe even with a push, nearly three days. But yeah, heavy duty, two days, not bad at all. This is a Microsoft Teams certified device. So I'll focus on testing inside a Microsoft Teams video call and uh, test a few different combinations of settings and compare it, compare it to other headphones. Um, when it comes to call quality, most wireless headphones will struggle a bit because of the nature of wireless. There is no way around it. A wired headphone will always sound better, even with a worse microphone uh, as, as a rule. Uh, this was the case with my Jabra Evolve 285. It's wireless, the microphone, yeah, it's good for a wireless, but not great. And uh, I compared to also a few others. Even my Aldez Penrose, which is meant to have a broadcast type of microphone, it's still okay. The Jabra Evolve 285 uh, in a conference call in Microsoft Teams. So that's exactly how other people will see you, will hear you. 
and uh, this is a 300 pounds or 400 US dollars headphone. It has a microphone boom, as you can see, and it has about a billion microphones around it. Well, it looks like they has 11 microphones around it. I've been trying to, to look for all of them, couldn't find it, but it sounds, it sounds good for a wireless headset. Uh, but yeah, maybe the 11 microphones is a bit more of a marketing uh, idea. Uh, now I'm going to test it with background noise. This is like a, just a human conversation, you know, dialogues. And this is like what it sounds like when I have someone working back here talking as well on the phone. So you see that because of the microphone boom, it actually it doesn't pick that much uh, audio, like the much dialogue from other people. Um, I'm going to change the, the noise suppression in Teams, which is off. I'm going to change it to high. So now it's set up to high and you might see a bit of difference. So I still have a phone here very close to me. And again, this happens exactly the same as when I have another person working. Uh, back here, and yeah, it, it, it is it is okay. I would say. Let me stop this. And uh, now I'm gonna put this microphone up. And that's how it sounds like using the microphones from the ear cups, which you can directly compare to how the Microsoft Surface 2 Plus sounds like on the next test. Next test. And you can see it picks up, um, it, it's it's not really good audio. Several people told me they can't hear me well when I have the boom up. So I'm gonna put now some uh, dialogue, same as before. And then you can see how much of this dialogue you can pick up with the audio suppression in high in scenes. But let me turn the audio suppression to off. So now you should be able to hear the raw audio and uh, most likely it doesn't sound good because some people tell me it's horrible. So this headset needs to be with the boom on. So let's jump into, oh, and by the way. And now I'm trying to come back to using the boom. I don't know if it's working, but you can still eat an apple with it. Yeah, not bad. This is the Aldez Penrose. It is a gaming headset, it uses a proprietary wireless protocol, and the microphone is meant to be broadcast great. It cost it costed around 300 pounds, again, another 400 US dollars. Uh, this is very low latency, you, amazing for playing games. The audio quality is amazing. It has a microphone boom, but I've also heard that some other people can hear noise around from time to time. So maybe it's more about the quality of your voice than actually isolating yourself from background noise. And I'm going to do the same testing with uh, human dialogue on the phone. And this is simulating like someone close to me. So you can see the audio quality and this is noise suppression off. So let's switch the audio suppression to on in Teams. Now it's set up to high. I don't know how much difference you guys can see. Again, same thing. Quite audio, quite quite high in volume here. Same as the person behind behind me. And uh, but let me switch this off. But one of the main problems with this, nah, eating. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It will be a bit difficult to eat with this. So you might need to get out of your desk, stop working, and go to your kitchen to have some nice lunch instead of eating by your desk. This is the Jabra Engage uh, 6.5 headset. This is what I call the Rolls Royce of headsets when it comes down to wireless, because this is a proper call center grade device. Uh, it uses DAC technology, so you can't hear, you can't listen to music with good quality. It's better, um, better quality for audio playback, to watch your videos on YouTube is bad, but for phone calls, it's amazing. Be the microphone, boom, because it's very close to your mouth and the microphone is actually very high quality. It can only pick up what you're saying. It won't pick up pretty much anything around you. It's very good. And I'm going to demonstrate to this. The, the audio suppression in Teams now is off. And I'm going to do the same 
test with people talking and uh, this is with me talking at the same time and I think the noise is uh, like the of course noise suppression is off but let me switch on the noise suppression now to high and uh, then you can see what's the difference and again this has amazing range you can go really far uh, you can go like uh, about uh, let me switch this off you can go I can go like about 100 meters away and they still pick up signal but again you can't hear to you can't hear music uh, it doesn't isolate yourself from the environment so there is bugger all like sound proofing and uh yeah it's just for some situations that I use this one to have phone calls when I need to go around but if I need to really concentrate I use the other ones with ear cups so I can isolate myself in my own you know, zone but uh, let me switch the all noise suppression to off again and yeah oh and this costs around 250 pounds to 300 pounds so again around 400 dollars uh and now the microsoft surface headphones 2 plus uh again this is a video call recording directly inside the microsoft teams and uh, noise suppression is off at the moment and as you can hear the microphone quality is okay but not like great and the audio is captured from both sides like the ear caps and I feel that a microphone boom positioned right in front of your mouth, similar to the Jabra Evolve 285 or the Penrose, would have made things a bit better. Um, especially in noisy environments, you know, the closer you have the microphone in front of your mouth, the better you capture your voice, the more it will separate the background noise from you. I wonder why they decided to go just this way uh, compared to. Um, you know other headphones in this price range i guess just the target market is slightly different um but yeah I, i'm i'm missing the the boom and i'm now going to simulate the conversation the background conversations from someone else it's talking it's bit close to me this again has no audio suppression from teams so uh well, this is quite close to me I, I gotta, i'm gonna put it back here well, let's say it's like about half a meter away from me and uh, let's switch the noise suppression in microsoft teams to uh, high as i did with the other ones and uh, yeah mm. again compared to the others it's not the greatest i think uh, you this is targeted uh, at, at the person that wants to have a very good uh, audio playback, not bulky, it's Microsoft certified, it works well with Teams, and it's a bit higher, higher quality than just a regular Bluetooth headset. So to conclude, compared to other wireless headphones, I think the Surface 2 Plus headphones is not a revolutionary headphone, but a marginal upgrade over similar options from other vendors around the same price range. Um, if you don't have already a high-end headphone for work, this could be a good candidate. But if you have already something that's pretty good, like let's say the Jabra Evolve 285, which was released I think about half a year ago, no, one year ago, um, then I wouldn't say to move on to something like this because it will give you similar or in some cases actually worse experience because you don't have the microphone boom, which might be your thing or not, again. So on the positive side, it has very good battery life, it's good for nearly two days of heavy use, plus you can charge using USB-C port, two hours, you're ready to go another two days. It's very comfortable, you know, when I put those on, it feels, it feels right, it, like, it, it, it fits like a glove. So I can definitely say comfort, comfort is, I think, the biggest selling point of this device. Uh, it feels solid as well. The construction quality, the the design, uh, the way the dials work, uh, it, it is so smooth. So the finishing is really nice. It's simple. You know, it reminds me of some Apple inspired design because it's simple. It just works. And it has good sound isolation. So when you put them on, it, it 
you know, you can't hear that much from the surroundings, but it has a bit of a gap at the bottom, as I mentioned before. But it is, it is good. The the Bluetooth dongle, you know, at the range is amazing. I haven't seen any Bluetooth device go this far, but again, it's down to the proprietary Bluetooth dongle they have. It looks like they can only connect to this headset. You can't pair it with another type of Bluetooth device. So not sure what Microsoft has done on that side. Like, and what about the negatives? Well, price is not cheap around 300 pounds in the UK, 400 US dollars, uh, pricey. Uh, lack of microphone boom, uh, it means it will always pick up more noise from the surroundings. It's, it's not great. Uh, the, the Bluetooth dongle is USB-A. Again, we're to 2021, pretty much everyone has moved to USB-C. If you're paying 300 pounds for a headset, the likelihood is gonna you're gonna have a very high-end laptop as well, which will have at least one USB-C port, if not more. Um, the Teams button, to me so far, is a gimmick. When you press it, it brings Teams to focus, but they promise that if you press it when you need to jump into a meeting, it goes into a meeting. Not really. I haven't found any other function besides just when you press it, brings the Microsoft Teams window up. Ugh, I can do that with my mouse, Alt Tab, any other way. Um, I think the Microsoft Surface Audio app is missing more settings, missing more customization that you can do with this headset. And uh, the extra range from the USB uh, dongle, uh, it's good, you can go far, but it doesn't work in the same way when you're talking back so people can you can hear people from far uh, but when you talk people won't be able to hear you because this headset doesn't have enough power to transmit the audio back to the dongle so i've noticed this i start walking around a lot quite far from the house and i could hear i can hear music i can you know uh mond alone i can do several things around here but then when I start having phone calls, people say, well, I can't hear you, you know, and I just like, well, yeah, not great. If you enjoyed this video, if it, if it has been helpful for you to narrow down options, help you buy the right kit for your work, for your employees, um, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, it helps me to keep doing more of those videos. Thank you very much. Bye.